Missed Survival's next update is just a few days away at the time of releasing this video. On Friday the 4th of October, the developer posted a little bit of a devlog going over what is coming in the next update. It has been postponed. It was meant to come out at the start of October, but unfortunately a few things have been delayed just to put some final touches and tweaks into the 0.6 0.2.1 update now that's a mouthful but this update looks pretty damn good there's loads of cool stuff in there including additional quests new caravan trailers new bandits well not exactly bandits but more sort of cannibals a new allied npc who is jinyon who will is basically the mechanic we've seen her before in previous iterations of Mist Survival, as well as a new cannibal base. So this update is a pretty beefy one. Very excited for this. We don't have an actual date on it yet, but hopefully it is going to be coming within the next few days. Now, when this came out on Friday, the 4th of October, the developer said, I do apologize for the delay, but I do need one more week to finalize the new quests and dialogue for patch 0.6.2.1. Some of the features that will be added are a new caravan and trailer. So as you can see here, this is the new caravan. So the other caravan that is in game is relatively small, but this one looks like it's going to be much bigger. And hopefully we'll be able to add a few more bits into there and make a life on the road a little bit more sustainable. There are quite a few things that you need that a small caravan just cannot fit. Once you've popped a bed, some storage and a campfire in there, you're pretty much done. But with this one, you may be able to add a crafting bench, a little bit more storage, um, a better cooking station, and just make it more of an all-round on-the-go home, which would be really, really helpful because the map is relatively big in terms of getting from A to B when the mist is out and uh, getting there between day and night cycles. You don't really want to be out at night or when the mist is there, so you're going to need somewhere to hunker down. And if you're having to go back to your home base, Every time you're out raiding, that can be a bit of a pain in the ass. So this caravan will really come in handy. Then alongside that, we have more quest, an expanded quest board with additional side quests. Now, this is really cool, and I do like this. Go do random little bits, take on enemies, clear out areas, kill certain zombies, uh, basically headhunting. Loads and loads of cool stuff in there that's really going to expand the gameplay loop and keep things going for a little bit longer. Now, I haven't got the actual camp that has the base in it. I've been told that you need to find a bandit camp, clear it, and then that becomes an allied encampment. I haven't been able to find it, so I am going to wait until this update comes out before we do more gameplay. We've got a decent chunk of gameplay on the channel already. That is all in the top right-hand corner if you do want to check it out. There's loads of stuff on the playlist, uh, tips, tricks, all of that good stuff. We're going to do some more tips and tricks, but it seems like at the moment it becomes relatively redundant because the developer keeps adding new areas and changing things round. So nothing's ever in the same place by the time I've done an up by the time I've done the video and then an update's already come out and things have moved. So they end up being really redundant and I've had to delete quite a few of the uh, sort of tips and trick guide videos for Miss Survival. I think it would have been better to have the map stabilized and in place first and then adding all the additional features rather than adding a portion of the map, adding all of these features, then adding another portion of the map. I think the whole map would have been better just with some dead areas in there with nothing in them. And that would have made things a little bit smoother. When it comes to exploring and having a playthrough of yourself, you could jump on, check out new bits with your current gear rather than having to restart at certain points, which has, I've restarted this game probably like seven, eight times now. Same with Survive the Nights. Um, so we'll wait and see. I'm hoping that we get confirmation or news of the new areas relatively soon. Then for the next part, we've got the new allied NPC quest. Jion, Jinyon, whatever her name is, will live at Carol's camp in her own DIY garage. You can interact with her after you unlock and clear some quests to access her main quest line. So as you can see here, this does kind of look like the motel. I'm not too sure where Carol's camp is. But yeah, this looks more like the motel than anything else. And as you can see here, um, she's working away. And it looks like we've started to see a sort of build zone there of the uh, the 50 cow, which will be coming in this next update as well as a few other things like the cedar. Lots of random little bits are coming with this one. But I do like this being able to be brought back. I do need to get myself the 4x4 so we can get that mounted 50 cal on there. We've got loads of ammo. As you can see, though, it looks like there's some decent resources dotted around, which we'll be able to take, and a supply tent as well. 
It looks like this tent here to the right would potentially be opened up after a quest line, or maybe this is Gion's actual um, area here, and you go speak to her there. But you used to be able to recruit her and take her back to your base. It doesn't seem like that's the way anymore, which is a shame, because you used to be able to build a pretty epic garage. And the next is a brand new feature to the game, and that is the cannibal bases. As you can see here, this looks really cool, sort of built into the mountains. So this is the cannibal base radio station. Here we'll be able to find unique artifacts and certain items that continue the storyline, as well as unlock a certain hidden cave that we'll be able to fully explore. So that's really cool. I don't know where this is. I can't think off the top of my head at the moment um, whether he's going to open a new section of the map for this. I'm not 100% sure. But I do like how it's dotted around, built into the mountains. This screenshot down here looks much better. So as you can see, the certain areas we're probably not going to be able to get up to. We'll have to figure out certain ways around the rock formations to actually get into them and do some building, figure out what's going on and explore some bits. Hopefully we can take over some of these because that would be really cool. Being able to overtake the actual radio tower or the, the search tower up at the top there. Have that as a little home base inside this giant cannibal facility would be really really smart and um well you wouldn't have to go far for resources either which is good and then here as you can see this is inside the cave itself which looks really really creepy i'm hoping we're going to find some really good resources and some really rare materials around these cannibal camps i have a feeling they're going to be very heavily defended but i don't think these guys are going to have actual firearms i think it's going to be a lot of melee stuff so you are going to be on your toes quite a lot and having enemies charge at you and then as you can see here, these are the enemy cannibals. So this is one just standing there. Looks like he's got a knife with him, um, all covered in blood, looking very tatty. I do love the look of these guys. They look really smart. And then here are all of the cannibal variants that we'll be seeing so far. Um, I like them. They look cool. I love the helmets, the sort of horn helmets. Uh, I don't know what animal that is, deer. Um, it's not deer, is it? It's something else, but never mind. Um, yeah, they look really, really cool. I like these. They look a little bit beefy. They look like they're going to be hard to take down. But we've only seen that one weapon on that first guy, which don't know if they're going to have better weapons or not, or whether they're going to be running around with uh, firearms or just melee stuff. I'd assume just melee, they're going to be relatively backwards. They are cannibals. We will have to wait and see, though. What do you guys think? Do you like the look of this update? Does it sound good to you? I'm really excited about the cannibal camp and being able to visit the actual mechanic, get some better stuff going for a vehicle, have things up and running and be able to travel around a little bit better than what we could beforehand. I'd love to see some more news on future plans though, more of a roadmap so we have a sort of definitive idea of what will be coming roughly when. I'm not after exact dates for everything, but when you play through, you get loads of stuff and then the map seems kind of empty. Um, it's it can be a little bit disheartening because yeah i'd like to see more in the area more more of a bigger map and then the building on that map rather than adding different sections every now and then but we'll have to wait and see what happens what do you guys think let me know in the comments down below for now though i've been wired you've been awesome thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one